Hi, Fountainhead, and everybody else that is watching with us. This is our 7 o'clock nightly prayer time, and um, we're, we're going to stay with this nightly prayer, probably even after the crisis, uh, but we know that right now the need is so strong for prayer. And every night I try to give you something that uh, God wants me to share with you for an encouragement or a prayer, a verse to stand on in prayer. It's very important that we pray back the word to him right now. So Psalm 55 verse 22. Psalm 55 verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. And so our prayer that we can stand on is based on the meaning in this verse. And so the word cast there is different than it is in some of the other verses. It means to throw with force. And right now, so many people were, were under such... Um, attack and the thought of being under social distancing and stay at home and no non-essential business till April 30th has a lot of people very, very shaken. And so whatever is the byproduct of that, whatever is happening inside your mind and, and your emotions, he's, he's saying throw that on him with force. And the word burden there, cast your burden, means whatever is your lot. So your burden may be different than Margie's burden or my burden or Pastor Mike's burden or Pastor D's burden. So what he's saying is this is a personalized verse. So when you go to stand before God every day and you're saying, God, I, I'm, I'm just standing on your word and you promised me that I can cast my burden on you that is designed just for me. My, my burden's my burden. It's personal. And I can cast it all on you. And the promise follows that. And he will sustain. And that word means to support, to supply, to nourish. So he's saying in these times, he's going to emotionally support us. He's, he's going to mentally support us. He's going to supply what we need. He's going to provide the nourishment that we need. And it says, and he will never suffer. And that word suffer means he'll never permit. He'll never assign. And the word righteous there is those vindicated by God. And all of us that know Jesus as our personal Savior, we're vindicated by God. And he's saying to us, I, I'm not going to permit you. I'm, I'm not going to assign you to be moved. And the word moved there is to be greatly shaken, to be overthrown, to be permitted to fall. And so tonight, I, I want you to grab a hold of this verse and for tonight and in the nighttime and and during the day, so many people are, are telling me that, that at night they're, they're really shaking. And so tonight, if that happens, I want you to get out your Bible. I want you to go to Psalm 55, 22. I want you to begin to pray it back to God. God, you promised me that you would never let me be greatly shaken. You would never let me be overthrown. You would never permit me to fall. And that you have the designed answer for my burden. And so you can take that to God with great confidence. And so tonight uh, we, we have some uh, prayer requests. Jessica Prevetti um, now has the stomach virus that has ravished her family. Uh, Gazelle's Uncle Ted has the virus. Uh, Sagamore School is under a tremendous assault. And um, 
the uh, Rachel that we've been praying for all last week, if you didn't hear it yesterday, um, she has been released. She's gone home. So praise God, that is one recovery from the virus. And then Irene that we have been praying for, uh, she's doing much better. She's stable. So we're going to keep praying for those people. Again, if you're watching tonight, send in your prayer requests. We will start praying with them. And if you watch it after we're no longer live, if you'll text in your prayer requests, we will pray for them tomorrow night. So, Father, in the name, the power, the blood, and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, we raise our hands toward heaven. We open this branch of the legislature of the kingdom of heaven. Father, we are open for praise. We're open for worship. We're open for prayer. We're open for intercession for this country. Father, we thank you that you go against this virus and that you destroy this virus, that you stop it in its tracks. Father, we know the, the uh, projections and we know what everybody is saying, but Father, we lift our hands toward heaven. We say mankind, with mankind it's totally impossible, but with you it's possible. And we ask you to go to war against this virus. We ask you to stop this virus in its track and restore life to all the people that have been affected. And Father, we thank you that you send military angels to go to war against this virus and to destroy it in Jesus' name. So join us as we worship.
Father, how we praise the name of Jesus. You've given him the name above every name. You've given him the name that all will bow their knee. You have given him the name that keeps all things held together. So, Father, in that blessed name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we lift this whole virus situation. And Father, we know you're doing things that we don't understand. And we know that your plans and yes. purposes are not ours. Yes, Lord. And we know Before that your we plans and purposes are for our good and your glory. So Father, we ask you now that you begin to just force into every born-again believer's life the good that you're working. Jesus. Father, the things where it teaches us to get our eyes on you, teaches us to have the kind of faith that moves mountains, teaches oh. us that just like Psalm 55, that you will sustain us, that your plans are we are not Jesus. shaken. Father, we thank you that whatever your good is for each individual life in this situation that you'll begin to go there tear down Jesus. every barrier and that the you. enemy is putting yes, up so that the good does not saturate your people's lives father satan wants to make things All even glory. more complicated <clears throat> and even more difficult and he wants to get out there and do even more damage so, Father, we ask you to loose military angels over every born-again Christian's life to tear down every obstacle, to tear down every block that is blocking your good from saturating our lives in the middle of this thing. And, Father, we thank you that you killed this virus. Father, the Word tells us in the book of James that you're the Father of light, it tells us that Jesus is the light of the world. He turned around and said we would be cities on the hill, that we would be lights. This virus dies in light. 
Father, we're asking you to so put the intensity of your light around every one of these virus cells that they just blow apart. And Father, every prognostication that this thing is going to mutate and is going to come back around in the fall and be worse, we call those words dead. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, we're asking Jesus. you to saturate Amen. every virus Jesus. cell with your light and destroy that. <clears throat> Father, it's, it's sensitive to heat. It can't handle heat. And so, Father, the Holy Spirit is heat. And we ask you to oh, use Lord. the power of the Holy Spirit. He's in this earth to convict of righteousness and the reality of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we ask you to loose the Holy Spirit, to saturate every virus cell with his heat and with his power and destroy those cells. And Father, we lift every person that is sick with this virus <clears throat> from New York City to Nassau to Suffolk to upstate New York, to every other place in this world. And we ask you to begin to go into these people's lives, kill this thing, cause this thing to just die, pull out its intelligence that causes it to multiply, but mutate and do all this crazy stuff. Father, we ask you to saturate every person's body with the light of the Holy Father and with the fire of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name. My God, hallelujah, hallelujah, my God, my God, hallelujah. Father, we lift Jessica Pervetti before Amen. you right now and we curse this stomach flu. We command her digestive system to be healed. <clears throat> we command right now just everything in her body to come into line. We command right now resurrection power, resurrection fire into Jesse's life. Father, we thank you that you cleanse it out of Joe and Joey and Ezekiel and Luke and Grace Elizabeth and Liva Louise. Father, don't let it go back through that house. Drive it out of there and raise Jesse up with strength and power in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord God, we pray against this spirit of fear that's just rampant. It's absolutely rampant. It's like this is the first type of plague like this that's ever happened upon us, oh God. Lord, it's not, oh God, but suddenly, suddenly, Lord, as, as we get closer, as we get closer to, to that, to that, uh, the, the, your, your, your returning again, oh God, Lord, we, we get, we, it seems like people get weaker and they get less, they have less faith. The scriptures probably didn't say in vain when I return, will I find faith? Shall I find faith? Father God. Lord, we rebuke that fear, O oh God. Lord, and Lord, allow us to be the instruments by which that fear can be contained and quarantined, if yes. you will, mm -hmm. Father God. Yes. In Jesus' name, Lord, Lord, let people be, let people see hope. Let people see uh, let, let people experience faith, O oh God. Lord, let them come to faith, O oh God. Lord, let them not be. Uh, tossed about in, in, yes. their, in, in their minds, oh God, Lord, not knowing what to think, to be double-minded, triple-minded maybe, oh God. Lord, Lord, we, we ask you to have compassion on people, oh God. Lord, show them the truth. Yes. Show them the way and show them the life, Father God, we pray, oh God. Hallelujah. My, my God, we, we, we have the Federal Food and Drug Administration who has approved which, which has approved certain clinical trials. They're, they're, all, they're all in. They're all in. And Lord, that's a result of what Trump has done, Father God, we're convinced. And Lord, let the doctors and let the medical uh, offices and let the hospitals, let them join in. Let them, let them throw full in, oh God. Lord, 
it's 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 worth a try, oh God, Lord. And we believe, we believe that 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 this these medic these medications, oh God, Lord, that they may very well be the answer to to uh, a large part of the problem here, oh God, Lord. Lord, we, we, we see some, some tests, some clinical trials, oh God, they seem to work out. Father God, Lord, if this is not it, then bring something else along. Lord Israel, Israel has said they're going to bring over, they're going to send over, they're going to send over medications, oh God. Lord, let that happen, oh God, let that happen, oh God. Lord, in our factories, oh God, let, let's, let, let us find the cure and let, let it be mass produced, Father God. Yes. And again, the fear be held in abeyance, oh God. Mm -hmm. Lord, people are desperate now and they will take it, oh God. Lord, but just put all the ducks in order, we pray, oh God. Lord, let it happen, oh God. Move it along. Motivate these people, oh God. Motivate the powers that be. Motivate doctors. Doctors, they don't want to be sued, but Lord, Lord, they, they, Lord, have them fall into line, oh God. This is a humanitarian effort, oh God. Lord, Lord, we pray. Just do it. Just do it. Father, we so agree with that prayer. You have promised us that Israel will be the praise of the whole earth. And so, Father, we thank you that you have anointed them to come up with medications and you have anointed them to come up with solutions. And so, Father, we thank you that those solutions will be here quickly and not just to us, but to all the nations that are suffering. Father, let it be a blessing to Italy and, and Spain and the UK and France. Father, just every nation right now that is suffering, we thank you, Father, that there will be just a release and that your word is true and Israel will be the joy of the whole earth. And we thank you, Father, that you do that in Jesus' name. Father, we lift Gazelle's Uncle Teddy before you. And Father, we ask you to go into that hospital. We ask you to touch him. We ask you to pour resurrection life into him. We ask you to clean out his lungs and clean out everything that this virus is doing. And we order this virus to leave his body. Jesus. And we command healing into her uncle's body right now Absolutely. in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you to keep our officials safe. Yes. Father, from the governor down, Father, keep them safe as they have to govern the nation. And Father, we're asking for your hand of protection around them. Father, we ask that you would give them wisdom and guidance. Yes. Father, we're asking that, Father, you would strengthen them, Father, as they go day and night. Lord, we're asking that from every official on this island, Father, that you would keep them safe. Yes. And Father, we ask again for your wisdom from the end of the island to the top of the state. Yes. Father, that you would do a miracle, Father, of healing. Father, we ask that you would just begin to just wipe this thing out. Yes. Father, let New York just all of a sudden just things begin to happen and everybody start looking this way. Father, we thank you that out of this, Father, your name will be lifted up. Yes. Father, we ask that in the midst of this, Father, we're asking that you turn hearts. But, Father, we thank you for the protection for the rest of our nation, Father. And, Lord, we ask that you give every governor and every official wisdom on how to handle yes. things. And, Father, we just ask that every lie that's being spoken, that you would yes. just bring it down. Everyone. Father, just reveal the truth. Father, that your people would know. And Father, we just thank you, Father, that you're a God who heals, and we ask that you would just step in, Father, to each life, Father, that needs a touch. Father, everybody in the nursing homes, and yes. the hospitals, and Father, wherever they may be, we ask that you would just step in as the God who heals. Yes. And we just bless you in Jesus' name. Father, we lift the staff 
of Huntington Hospital and Carillon and St. Catharines and Southside and um, all of the nursing homes, Birchwood, all of them. And Father, we ask you to surround their staff, protect them, keep them from all harm and from all danger. We ask you, Father, to get them the needed supplies that they need to stay safe. And Father, we just call out the names that are in our congregation that are working in, in these up front line positions. And Father, we ask you to wrap your hand around Gazelle and protect her and comfort her. And Father, there are no masks available to her or, her, or the staff she's on. So Father, we're asking you to get a shipment of masks in there. We lift Susie before you, and Father, we thank you that you keep your hand on her, that you protect her, that she goes in and goes out without anything touching her or coming near her. And Father, they need masks, and we, we ask you, Father, that you provide masks for that hospital and, and that they get a shipment of supplies. Father, we lift Amy before you. And Father, we thank you that you surround her, that you protect her, that you keep her from the virus as she's got all, all this patient contact. And Father, we thank you that you just put such a hedge of protection around her. She goes in, she comes out without any problem. We lift Stephen before you. And Father, as he's transporting patients and he's in with so many patient contacts, we ask you to surround him. Put such a hedge of protection around him that he's safe. We lift Kathy before you. And as she's in that dental office and in that situation with so much patient contact. Father, we ask you to surround her. We ask you to protect her. We lift Richie before you as he's in that nursing home and he's working every day. And Father, we ask you to surround him. Protect him. They don't have masks. Father, we, we just call in the supplies that that nursing home needs so that that staff goes in and goes out with, without any problem. And we're particularly, Father, we're asking you for Richie that he's safe and that nothing comes any ways near him. And Father, we, we lift jo Joan before you. And Father, she's with such patient contact. We, we ask you to wrap your arms around her protect her help her father let her go in and go out without any problem we lift judith before you we ask you to go in and just surround her protect her let her go in and go out without any problems whatsoever father we we lift pastor chris before you and as she's with patient contact father we thank you that you hedge her up that you protect her that you life her that no matter who she works with there's absolutely no problem whatsoever. We lift Sally before you, and as she's working with so many, Father, neither one of these ladies have masks, and we ask you, Father, that you protect them, that you life them, that you pour just your hand of strength into their immune system, and they're able to ward it off. Father, we lift Rachel before you, and we lift all of Sagamore, and Father, all the situations that are going on there, Father, we ask you to put your hand down and stop this spread. Stop these children from spreading it from one to the other. Saturate the staff with your hand of protection. And Father, they don't have masks. And we ask you, Father, that you be their mask. You be their filter. You protect them. You heal the children that are sick. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you just saturate uh, Rachel particularly with your hand of protection and that no virus comes any ways near her and we thank you Father that you just watch after her give this the authorities in Sagamore your wisdom show them what to do and what not to do what decisions to make and what decisions not to make and Father we just thank you that you will step in and turn the tide here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saturate me with your anointing. Saturate me with your presence. Got to have more of your anointing. Saturate me, oh Lord, today. 
saturate them with your anointing. Saturate them with your presence. Father, as those healthcare workers walk into those rooms, yes. Father, they carry your presence. Yes, they do. And so, Father, we ask that everything changes just for them being there. Mm -hmm. and Father, as they work with these patients, as they help them and minister to them and give them the medicines and the things that they need, Father, that your presence would just consume that room yes. and consume these patients. From the north to the south to the east to the west every person that is sick with this virus that has believing nurses and doctors father we ask that when they walk into that room yes things change because you're there and you're with them and they carry your resurrection power in their lives so, Father, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. And, Father, we lift Miriam before you. And as she's working in Carillon, Father, we ask you to protect her. We ask you, Father, as they're moving the virus patients in there, Father, we're asking you to saturate her, protect her, life her. We lift Denise before you. And Father, we thank you that as she works in a medical uh, situation as well, that your hands are on her, that you protect her, that you hedge them up. Father, just hedge these two women up. Be with Tom and hedge Tom up as he's working and, and doing in-home tutoring with children. Father, we're, we're asking you, put a hedge of protection around Tom. Just move him in and around and protect him from everything. Father, we thank you that your hand of protection is on them and nothing comes any ways near them. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord God, even as I felt this morning, oh God, Lord, that I felt like I was on autopilot, oh God. Lord, we, you are the pilot, and you yes. are automatically downloading our flight plan, oh yes. God. Lord, what we should be doing. Taking one step at a time, yes. one, one minute at a time, one hour at a time, and we're on autopilot. We have nothing to fear. We yes. have absolutely nothing to fear. We are on autopilot. We are your ambassadors. We are doing 
your bidding here on earth, O oh God. Encourage us, Lord. Lord, let us, let us not pull back. Let us not refrain from opening our mouths, O oh God, and, and uh, expounding to the public, O oh God. Lord, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, O oh God. Lord, the key to salvation, O oh God. Lord, the key to everlasting life, O oh God. Lord, life in the spirit here on earth, O oh yes. God. Let us not be ashamed. Let us not pull back. But let us be bold. Let us be bold like we've never been bold before. We have nothing to fear and we're on autopilot. We have absolutely yes. nothing to fear, Father God. Hallelujah. Lord, just to inculcate that within us, O oh God. Lord, we are not our own. We have been purchased with a price, O oh God. Lord, further, O oh God, further your kingdom within us. And then re let us reach out to the earth, O oh God. Let us reach out. Let us reach out, O oh God. Father, we lift all the people that have been furloughed from their jobs. And Father, we ask you to provide for them. Father, particularly those that are born again Christians, Father, we stand on your word. And your word says, you've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed out begging for bread. And so, Father, we thank you that you begin to call creative things to surround every one of born-again Christians that have lost their jobs. Father, we ask you to open other jobs for them. Just open other ways for them. Father, we thank you that, like Psalm 55 says, you, you don't allow your righteous, those that are vindicated by you, to be shaken, to be moved off point, be, to be dislodged. And so, Father, we thank you that you provide work for them. And all the people that are working, Father, we ask you to hold their jobs. And Father, as the president has called for um, more manufacturing, Father, I ask you that some of the plants that have been shut down now open up to make ventilators and to make masks and to make protective gear so that some that have been furloughed begins to go back to work. Incredible. Father, we thank you that even some of the uh, manufacturing companies that have been declared essential are shut. And so, Father, we ask you to open them back up and then protect them from the virus. Show them how to operate with social distancing Show them how to operate so that their workers are protected. But Father, we, we just thank you that you begin to provide. And Father, all of the pantries out there, not just ours, all of the pantries out there. Father, we're asking you to just dump us with resources so that we can continue to be open several times a week. Father, we just call in supply. We, we call in food. We, we call in everything we need to stay open. And Father, we thank you that you always took care of people. You always fed them. You always watched after them. Father, you, we're just asking you to creatively begin to keep these pantries open and creatively open these essential jobs and then protect everybody that's working in that father and we lift the mental health situation and father we're begging you step in here stop the governor from saying that the um residents where these people live are uh, businesses and have to close father we ask you to cause him to realize they're not their treatment centers they're if their people aren't there, they'll be on the street and they'll be causing more sickness and more problems. And Father, we ask you to just move on his heart and get that stopped and keep these residents open in Jesus' name. Father, 
we just looked at the students that are oh, yes. being taught remotely. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Father, yes, I know yeah. they're getting tired of this. I know they're tired of not seeing their friends. Father, I just ask that you give them the stamina. Yes. Would you give them the ability to stay focused? Father, I ask that you help us as teachers. Father, that we would be able to um, show them the things that they need for this year. Yes. Father, that you would just, um, just especially the school that I work at, Father, I just ask that your blessing would be upon them. Yes. And Father, we just ask that you be with us to get through this time. Jesus name. Father, every parent that is at the end of their road, they they don't know what to do. And all the parents that could work but can't work because the kids are home and and it's dangerous to put them out in daycare or other places. Father, begin to lift the parents' frustration. And begin, Father, to give them creative ideas how to engage their children. Give them strength. Give them patience. Give them just a fiery love for their children. And Father, every situation where just being so cooped up is put it, pushing that envelope of domestic violence. Father, we're asking you to step in there. Get these people help. Get them to somebody that they can talk to. We ask you to step into these homes Father, every home that's out of balance, every home that's dysfunctional right now, and this being together is making that dysfunction worse. Father, we're asking you to cause them to reach out and call somebody for help and look for creative solutions. And Father, we just lift these families and we thank you, Father, that you use this time to cause people to cry out and get help that might not have done it otherwise in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for the local government and the state government, oh God, Lord, for them, for the leaders to 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 redouble and triple up their efforts, oh God, yes. Lord, to to have enough people on on staff, oh God, Lord, determined, be able to sift between the well and the not so well, yes. Father God, Lord, and those that are well, Lord, equip them, oh God, Lord, stock stock and stuff the 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 offices, oh God, with people so they can at least answer the phone, oh God. Yes. Lord, even the uh, Department of Labor, New York State, I've been trying to reach them 20, 30 times. It's just the, the, the infrastructure there is just absolutely terrible. Lord, Lord, I'll pray that the, the, that it enters the mind of Governor yes. Cuomo for him to do something about that. And while he's doing that, let him do everything else that needs to be done. Top down, a top down reevaluation of what has to be done in local governments as well, Father God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we understand on the one hand, it's a way of, of they're being cautious, oh God, Lord. They're playing it safe, oh God. But Lord, they, 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 they've got to do better than that. They've got to do better, Father God. Lord, we ask you to push them, oh God. Lord, don't give them rest until, until you push them and they do the right thing. Yes. Lord, they, we, we know the tendency of human nature just to sit back and not let any crisis go to waste, oh God, Lord, and just sit back and, 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 and play it cautious, oh God, Lord. But that's not the way you want it, Father God, Lord. And so we pray it into existence that these, that these governmental leaders, they rise to the occasion. Yes. like they've never risen to the occasion before, Father God. Lord, for them to do the right thing, for them to go the second mile, yes. not the one mile, not three quarters of a mile, not even a mile, but the second mile, Father God, we pray. In Jesus' name, Father God. Lord, and let us see the fruit. Let us see the, the, the bearing of fruit, Lord, as it's done, Lord God, day by day, Father God, we pray, so that the people would be encouraged, O oh God. 
Lord, in the stimulus plan that they have, Lord God, where checks are going to be sent out and business, not-for-profits and other businesses are going to be subsidized and reimbursed and whatnot, Father God. Lord, we, but in something like this, there's always this, we've seen examples already of, of abuse, oh God. Lord, and Father, we pray against the glitches that might come, oh God. Lord, the people, if the law is that they get the money, Father God, we pray the money flows and the money flows yes. properly properly yes. father god or let it go to its proper destination father god yes let waste uh, let waste be at an absolute minimum we pray father god in jesus name lord if anybody receives money wrongfully under false pretenses father god lord just deal with that situation as well father god Lord, let people fear, let people fear, let the heavy hand of government, where appropriate, let it come down on people where the, where the, where the money is not warranted, not needed, and scams are being done, Father God. Lord, we pray against that, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for the small businesses. Yes. And Father, we just ask that um, this virus would lift so that things for them would be easier and better. We pray for all of the businesses that have supported Nana, Father in Mariposa, and our church. Father, we just ask that you bless them. Yes. That you just keep them open, that you supply every need that they have. Father, I just ask that you um, help them, even uh, places that are closed that the governor deemed unnecessary as hairdressers and, and um, nail salons. Father, we ask God that he would allow them to be open, that people do need to get their hair done. They need to get their, their things done, that they are a necessity in everyday life. And Father, we ask God, that you would do that. Yes, Lord. That um, or that they would that those businesses especially would have a creative way to get income. Yes, Father, we ask that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Let there be a phasing in. Let there be a gradual phasing in. It's not an all or nothing situation. Lord, let it be clear. Let it be clear that certain uh, alleged non-essential businesses are in fact essential. Oh God. Lord, let them be phased in sooner yes. than later, Father mm -hmm. God. Lord, and the steps that they take, the social distancing and related uh, items, dear uh, Father God, Lord, allow allow the 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 our governmental leaders to be creative, oh God. Lord, not just not just use a the, uh, a, a samurai sword when a scalpel is needed, Father God. Lord, let them let them wield just the scalpel. Let them be very careful, oh God. Lord, especially when it comes to First Amendment issues oh God Lord let them let them not paint with too broad of a brush we rebuke that we rebuke that we rebuke that in Jesus name father God oh God Lord Lord open businesses Lord crush this virus and open businesses sooner than later we pray father God yes hallelujah father we lift every policeman second precinct on father so many of them have now gone into situations and they've come down with the virus or they're in quarantine and the officers are working um so many extra hours and it's and it's wearing on them and their families are so afraid that they're going to bring the virus home and that's bringing so much stress <clears throat> in the families father we just lift the, the policemen, the firemen, the EMTs, the ambulance workers, Father, the postal workers, all of them that are out there and they're, they're in this kind of harm's way and, and the families are so worried. Father, we ask you to bring your peace and your presence. We ask you to protect them. 
We ask you, Father, every policeman, every fireman that now have the virus, we ask you to go into their bodies and quickly restore them, quickly heal them, life them, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for uh, Kathy's boss's father, <clears throat> Alex, who's 73. Father, he's had a fever for the last seven days. Whoa. Father, we ask that you just touch him now, that you yes. heal him, that you remove this fever and uh, virus. And Father, we also pray for her daughter-in-law, Anna, who is an emergency room nurse in Rhode Island, and oh. for Brian, who works at a nurse as a nurse at a center for patients with special needs. And he's assisting in the COVID testing. Oh my goodness. So Father, we just ask oh, that you surround protect. those two people, yes. Anna and Brian. Yes. Father, that you protect them, that you keep them safe, that um, they don't push it, Father, when they're at their limit, Father, that they go and rest. Yes. And that they get the, the rest they need, Father, um, just even the protection, that yes. they would have the masks that cover their entire face. Yes. The face shield, Father, we ask that you just keep them. Father, everyone that's a nurse, um, for my friend uh, Cin Cindy, Fa Cynthia, Father, I ask that you just be with her yes. in Franklin Square mm -hmm. as she's yes. an emergency room nurse. Father, I ask that you surround her, that you protect her, that you strengthen her, that some of them are pulling double shifts. And, and Father, we just ask that you just keep them safe. Yes. Father, for the doctors that are doing what they know oh, to do, and sometimes it isn't enough. Father, I ask that you, you help them. Yes. That you give them the things that they need to be able to stifle this virus. Yes. And cause it to stop in these Jesus. patients. Father, protect them. Keep them safe. And Father, for people that do have special needs, Father, I ask that you keep them safe, that yes. you protect their immune system, that you just keep them in a bubble. Once again, that bubble, Father, I just ask that you keep them in a bubble. Yes, yes. And that you shield them and protect them in so, Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, we should do that. Should do that. Father, I lift the truck drivers that are going from state to state. Yes. Father, bringing in supplies and bring in what's needed, Father. I ask that you would protect them. Yes. And that you would meet their needs along the way. Father, yes. as there's so many places closed and they can't stop. And just have people just supply them food along the way. Yes. And Father, just meet every one of their needs. And Father, we ask for your hand of protection upon them as they go through each state. Father, you keep them safe from the viruses. And Father, just watch over them and father protect their vehicles yes and father help them to stay awake as they drive and father give them places to go where they can sleep yes and father we just thank you father for the efforts and things they're doing to yes. get supplies across this country in jesus name father we lift every person that goes into these hospitals to fix the equipment yes uh, they're they're going in and they're they're fixing machines and they're they're fixing ventilators and they're fixing oxygen and everything they're fixing and they're they're in dangerous situations and they certainly don't have masks and father we ask you to surround them we ask you to protect them we ask you father that they everywhere they go that the virus dies before they get there and that they're able to do their job and get out without any problems, Father, in Jesus' name. And Father, we lift Renal before you, and as he's building walls for the hospital and the Javits Center, Father, we ask you to surround Renal. We ask you to protect him. We ask you to give him strength. Father, we thank you that he, he just, he's far away from danger. He's far away from anybody that might have the virus and coming to work or he's far away from accidents. And Father, we, we just thank you that you gave him that job and we thank you, Father, that you will surround him and protect him in Jesus' name. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we do. Thank you again. Thank you, Lord.
Father, everybody that's working in an essential business, whether it's grocery stores or it's restaurants or it's delis or it's pizza places or it's car repair or it's any of the the businesses deemed essential. Father, they're, they're coming in contact with people every day that may be carriers, that may be out and roaming and know they're sick, but they're still going out. Father, we ask you to surround every one of these essential workers. We ask you to surround every one of the pantry workers and all of the pantries. And Father, we ask you to keep all the people that are out there doing essential jobs, gas stations, all of them. Father, we thank you that you protect them, that you strengthen them, that you life them, that you surround them with your presence. Talk to them about the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father, for doing that. Father, we lift up Debbie's um, dad in Brazil. Yes. And Father, we ask that you strengthen him and heal him. Yes. Father, as he's not working and he's recovering from an illness, Father, we just ask yes. that your presence would lift yes, this from him. Yes, Father, that your Holy Spirit would surround him, that you would provide for him and for his family. Father, we just ask for protection over him. In Jesus' name. We pray for her brother and sister-in-law who are helping um, Debbie's dad. Yes. And Father, we ask that you help oh, them and strengthen them and that you make a way for this family, Father. In Jesus' name. Lord, through this turmoil and through this tr these trying times, Father God, Lord, we, I ask and we ask, O oh God, Lord, that your believers, your church, O oh God, Lord, has the same type of faith that even Paul had on, his, on that trip that he had out to sea, O oh God. Lord, the storm came in. Of course, it was warned. Uh, Paul warned everybody, don't, let's not leave, let's not shove off from shore. But they had to do it, and they did it. And Father God, Lord, after 13 or 14 days, whatever it was, Father God, Lord, everybody thought that they were going to die, Father God. Lord, let us have the faith. Let us have the, 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 the strength and the perseverance of character that Paul had, Father God. Lord, he was not moved. He was not moved. Lord, he, 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 he was able to hear from you. He delivered your word to the people, Father God. Lord, there was no life spared. Lord, we, we pray that there be a minimum, uh, absolute minimum of, of life that's taken during this, during this time, Father God. Lord, Lord, throughout the, the breaking up of the ship, the, the, the perilous uh, getting to shore, the, 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 the building the fire, the, the venomous stake, throwing or casting it back into the fire, Father God. Lord, let us, let, let us, your believers, let us cast off, just like Paul cast that venom snake into the fire, oh God. The, the, the whole trauma that's associated with the, what we're going through, Father God. Lord, we just shake it off of ourselves, oh God. We shake it off ourselves and to the extent yes, possible, we shake absolutely. it off the, the lives of other people, Father God. We shake it off the lives yes. of other people, Father God. Lord, because we have the truth, Father God. Let us convey that truth, oh God your precious people and those that will believe through our word, Father God. Yes. God, you are my righteousness, my champion defender. Answer me when I cry for help. Whenever I was in distress, you enlarged me. I'm being squeezed again. I need your kindness right away. Yes. Grant me your grace. Hear my prayer and set me free. Yes. May we never forget that the Lord works wonders mm -hmm. for every one of his devoted lovers. And this is how I know that he will answer my every prayer. Jesus. Tremble in awe before the Lord and do not sin against him. Be still upon your bed and search your heart before him. My God, Father, we thank you that you hear our prayers. Yes. And that you hear the prayers of so many that you've called to pray for our nations and and for the world. <clears throat> Father, we thank you 
that you have not left us um, and that you don't desert us. Father, yes. but you're present and you're here and you're here to help in this time of need. And Father, I lift up Nadine in Uganda. And yes. Father, I ask that you supply their needs, that you protect them from all the anarchy. Father, I pray that you just help that school, help the kids and, and the men and the boys that she works with. Father, let the farm be able to produce yes. things that could be given to the people in that town. Father, I ask that you surround them, that you protect them, and that you keep them safe. And, and Father, we just, um, is it Rebecca that works at a nursing home? Pam's daughter? Yes. Father, we lift Rebecca before yes, you. Yes, Father, we, we ask that you protect her in her job at, at that nursing home. Father, we ask that you protect her patients and, and yes. the nurses and the staff that work there. Father, keep them safe. Provide for them. In Jesus' name. Father, as Easter approaches, Father, we thank you that you give every church creative ideas on how to handle Resurrection Sunday. Father, we thank you that it's, it's just such a vital day in, in people's lives. And Father, we ask you to give all of us creative ideas how to get the church together. Father, give us creative ideas on how to put children's programming up on Facebook and YouTube and Zoom and Loom. Father, as, as the children are, are just needing so much, Father, we're asking you to give us creative ideas, empower every children's pastor to come up with something that can go out on Zoom or Loom or YouTube or Facebook Live and will begin to bring just a relief into every home so that the children aren't just doing schoolwork or, or just running crazy, but there's that kind of uh, influence in the home in Jesus' name. Father, there are so many people sick right now with other things, whether it's the virus or, or it's cancers or it's diabetes or it's asthmas. And Father, there, there's just so many people out there. And the, the virus has just 
made things worse and made things more intense and caused people more fear and more worry, more anxiety. Father, we ask you to go into every home where somebody is sick and we ask you to minister to them. And so many of them can't get to their doctors because doctors aren't taking appointments. And Father, we ask you to touch the family members and touch the patients and just begin to pour out your healing. Father, you have said the church was the arm of healing for this earth. And so, Father, we in the church right now send our prayers to every home where somebody's sick. And we ask you, Father, walk into those homes. Lay your hands on those people. Raise them up. Father, the people that are having so much trouble even getting their regular medicine, Father, we ask you to step into those situations and heal them. Father, let such a wave of your healing power hit the United States that nobody can explain how these people that were chronically ill have suddenly been raised. But Father, let it be the prayers of your church that begin to lose healing around these people. Father, let your power be seen. Let your power be felt. Father, you are sovereign. You are the ruler. There is nothing too hard for you. And we ask you, Father, in this season, begin to make yourself so manifest that there's miracle after miracle after miracle in people's lives and they're calling local churches and they're saying i don't know what happened but this happened and can you explain it father we're asking for just an outpouring of your holy spirit your supernatural miracles your signs your wonders and just draw people on the phone to churches saying i don't know what happened i can't explain it the doctors can't explain it i don't know what happened but there's a been a miracle in my house Father, we're asking you to just let those signs and wonders and miracles so permeate house after house after house that there is a revival in this nation. Father, we don't need church buildings open. What we need is your spirit, and we're asking you to do that. And Father, as churches are starting to do drive-in churches and people are bringing their cars into parking lots and they're sitting in their cars and they're worshiping together father let those services just saturate the atmosphere saturate the the area around them let there be such a field of your presence that people for miles can can sense your presence and they'll just drive their cars up into the parking lot and and they'll join it people who would never walk into churches but they'll drive into a parking lot father we thank you that you do that in jesus name i'm expecting my miracle i'm expecting to we uh, close out tonight uh, let me tell you that we received notice that um, the Dunkin Donuts drive-through 
in East Northport on Jericho, they're hiring. Uh, some of the other Dunkin' Donuts are hiring. So if you need work, uh, you can contact those particular Dunkin' Donuts because several of them are looking for help. Uh, please remember that one of the new job postings we got at the end of the week is Ride Aid. Ride Aid is looking for help. And I don't know how many of the 100,000 jobs are still available through Amazon, but Amazon is looking for drivers. So if you're out there and you're listening and you really need a job, those are the new postings for tonight. Um, we will be with you again uh, at 7 o'clock tomorrow night uh, for prayer, for worship. And please remember, uh, call the church office. 631-462-5048 if you need prayer, if you need counseling, if you want Pastor Chris's number, if you want Sally's number, they both have volunteered and they're, they're willing to spend time with you and they're willing to counsel you so you can get those numbers through the church office. Um, we God bless you. Our, our, our uh, food truck will be at the church on Wednesday, uh, 11 to 1. So if you're listening to me and you need food, please come to the church, 782 Larkfield Road, 11 to 1 on Wednesday. And Mariposa for baby clothes, baby furniture, baby needs, and food will be open on Friday morning. So Mark those times in your calendars. If you need food, come. And uh, if you need food, call the church office. There will be another pantry giveaway uh, Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday at 2 o'clock. So again, the church number is 631-462-5048. Good night and God bless you.